Hey YouTube, it's Wilmo here, and I'm going to show you guys my um, my new setup. As you can see, I've got a new desk um, that I ordered from Hobby Lobby, um, as you can see. And uh, so, yeah, let's get started. Yeah, so I'll just start with my desktop right now. Right now I have my computer, uh, my uh, not a very good one, it's just like, a, I think it's like a 2005 computer, HP, really not that good. Um, that's why I don't use that. I use I prefer using my laptop, and I got my lamp right here. And I really prefer using a lab lamp with a bendable neck, um, as I do right here too with this. And I only use the brightest, uh, like I use the white. Um, I don't know if you can see, but the, that one's like green. This one's like blue. But these are white. That's why I prefer using those because it gives you a uh, brighter type of light. So I really recommend using a lamp with a uh, with a, a bendable neck to give you the best lighting conditions while you're drawing. Um, right here I have a few paint brushes. Uh, right here is Copic markers. These are really like high quality. One, uh, one with a chisel. Uh, one side is a chisel tip, and one side is a brush tip. I really like using the brush tip. Um, here's Prisma markers, which I'm not even going to show you because I, I I don't know why, but I really don't like Prisma markers. I really don't like chisel tips. Um, once I used the Copic marker brush tip, I never went back. Um, and over here, I have Micron outliners, which can get very, very small. Um, these are the best outliners you can get. This one is really, really small. I don't know if you can see that because my camera really isn't focusing. Uh, right there it is. And I have a few pencils right here, always mechanic. Those are the best type of pencils you can get. A few foam, like they're like for makeup though, but I use them for really nice brushes because they give you really nice uh, um, strokes. Right here I have my stencils that say Wilmo. Um, right here is just a big like 44 Magnum 44 marker that I don't really even use. Um, over here I have my mouse right here for this computer, wireless, uh, my iPod right here, my blending stumps right here that uh, I really recommend using for shading, I have a really nice mark, uh, eraser right there, a uh, pencil sharpener, um, and that's it for my desktop. Now I'll show you my first shelf that I just put into. I have a HP uh, DeskJet uh, 3940 um, printer, really not high quality or anything. Right now I have transfer paper in it, that's how I make my t-shirts. Over here I have my um, paper that I use in this little ice, like container thing for my printer. Um, thumbtacks, paper clips, ink, um, a brush that has two, like it's too hard right now because it's like acrylic in it. So I recommend you really using water um, while you're painting with acrylic to uh, clean your brushes. I have the big little stencils, I mean, for smaller words, and the bigger stencils. I have a regular marker nib and a uh, mop marker nib right here, and a few razor blades in there. Um, over here, I have Banksy's uh, mouse right there. Over here, I have Woodcraft markers that aren't that good either. Um, they have, like, a chisel tip. And again, I don't really like chill tips. And I have deco markers, which uh, these are pretty good. Um, I'm not going to show you the nib on that. It's just a round nib, that's it. And it's really hard to put marker caps back on while you're recording. Um, and I got a new camera. I don't know if you guys could see uh, like the quality difference, but um, it really has changed. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but uh, I will show you a picture of that right now. All right, back to where I was getting to. You can uh, let's go to my drawers. Uh, well, first let's go to this mannequin. I really like to use the mannequins for drawing people and really putting light on it, so it gives you a nice shadow effect. Um, it really helps you draw people um, and basically shows you how everything is made up of circles. Over here, I have my sticker sketchbook with with a few more. Um, packs to show you guys in that. I have my graffiti black book right here that I use. It's pretty big, but I still like to use it. Um, right here I have my uh, things for space paintings like magazines that I use to make the mountains. And I'll show you a few pictures of my space paintings right now.
All right, back to here. I have, ooh, that's bad. Um, but uh, in here I got my uh, professional stickers that I haven't made. That's like Chris Angel. I don't even know why I have that. Um, ink for my printer and a few like contact paper type things. Uh, transparent. And right here I got my a few old sketchbooks of mine. In here, basically is my hardware. I mean, I got all my acrylics here. I have my um, thermals, uh, big sticker, UPS labels, um, hardware drawer again, like my hammer, my just hardware. Here I have a few, sorry, a few of your guys' stickers and a few mean streaks in there. I have a canvas down there. Right here is my canvas bag. Right here is my paper that I keep uh, track of my subscribers. Um, keep subscribing. <laughs> Up here I have my hardware, like uh, my scissors, paper clips, my birthday, July 16th. Well, it's not my birthday, it's just Wilmo's birthday. Um, that's the day I created Wilmo. A few ribbons that I've won for first place and honorable mention in our competition. Uh, circle stencils, uh, thumbtacks, I mean, like, uh, the color wheel that really helps me a lot. The uh, Banksy images from his movie. Uh, right here I got my image that I did on Starry Night. Um, and up here I got uh, uh, Marilyn Monroe. But uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, for markers, I recommend Copic. And for outliners, I recommend Micron. Um, but that's it.